this is Anu and welcome back to my channel. I am so glad you joined me today because I have a super cute tutorial for you. So my friend NYA Design is an interior designer and together we collaborated to create this beautiful pattern for you, which is the cover for a lampshade. And what I love about this pattern, one, is that it is boho style. You know how I love boho. Second, it's super easy to make. The only stitch you need is chain single crochet double crochet that's it so very very great pattern for beginner and intermediate crochet as well it is cheap the paper lanterns you can find them at ikea uh, on amazon i will try to put the link in the info box down below for you i will also have the pattern on my blog the written pattern on my blog in a few days i love 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 interior designing as much almost as i almost as i love crochet it is for me a joy to put materials together and colors and on pinterest i love watching interior this is my interior there and i think it fits really well but i think the beauty of it is that it can fit any interior of your choice depending on the colors that you have at home you just match the yarn to the color that you like and boom and it adds so much it is very trendy right now those pendants that are in wicker and all that and i think that gives a little bit of that vibe and it's uh, different when it's not on and when the lights are on it gives two different effects i like it as much in the day as in the night and uh, yeah so it's a win-win i love it thank you nya design for brainstorming with me and help me come with with this pattern i'm looking forward to more collaborations with you i will put nya design uh, information and the instagram right here if you're not following me on instagram what are you waiting for it is almost the holiday time there are plenty of giveaways there that will happen very soon so stay posted and on top of that i usually give a preview of what is going to be on my youtube channel so you would be the first one to know if you are interested and voila so if you are interested in creating this super easy beautiful boho style lamp shade cover then keep on watching and in the meantime happy crochet and i will see you next time bye for this tutorial you will need a very basic lampshade i will put the link to where you can purchase it in the info box down below you will need a 2.75 millimeter crochet hook, scissors, and a tapestry needle. You will also need some yarn. I used the Voltrom 3-ply yarn. The color is up in the sky, but you can use any lace or fingering yarn of your choice. All right, are you ready? Let's begin. Take your crochet hook and your yarn and make a slip knot. Proceed by making chains. You will make 56 chains in total. And this will fit the size lampshade that we chose for this tutorial. And I will meet you once you have 56 chains. Once you put the chain around the bigger of the two openings of your lampshade, it should fit snugly. So you have to be able to place it around and have enough chains. If you have another size lampshade, just make multiples of four chains. Making sure your chain is not twisted, slip stitch in the first chain you had made. And then you're going to chain one and you're going to make a single crochet in each and every one of the 56 chains. I will meet you once you have 56 single crochets.
This is what your work will look like. You're going to slip stitch in the first single crochet you had made and time for round two. Chain two and make a double crochet in the base of that same stitch. First chain two at the beginning of each and every round will always count as your first double crochet. And then chain two and again in the base of the same stitch make two more double crochets. Then you are going to chain two. And then you are going to skip three stitches. And in the fourth stitch, you are going to make two double crochets in the same stitch again. In that fourth stitch, chain two and two double crochets. This is how your work will look like and you're going to repeat chain two, skip three stitches and in the fourth make two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet all around. You should have 14 groups of two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets separated by a chain two at the end of your second round. Here you go, this is the way your works should fit on the big opening of your lampshade. And I will meet you at the end of your second round. Alright, we are at the end of your second round. Make your last group of double crochet, two double crochet, chain two, two double crochets. your round with a chain two and slip stitch on top of the first chain two you had made at the beginning of your round two. Alright, slip stitch on top of the two double crochets until you reach the first chain two in between the two double crochet, the first group of two double crochets, chain two and in that same chain two you're going to make another double crochet, chain two, and make two more double crochets in the same chain two space. And for the rest of that third round, you're going to repeat the same thing. So chain two, and then in the next chain two space from the previous round, in between the two double crochets, you are going to make two double crochets, chain two, and two double crochets and I will meet you at the end of your round.
And again, at the end of your round three, you're going to end with a chain two and slip stitch on top of the chain two from the beginning of your round. Slip stitch your way on top of the double crochets into the middle of the chain two. And you're going to chain two and make this time two double crochets more in the chain two space from the previous round. chain two and make three more double crochets in that same chain two space. So you see that now you have a group of three double crochet chain two, three double crochets instead of two double crochet chain two, two double crochet. So you're going to have those groups of three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets all around separated again by, by a chain two. So chain two, go to the next chain two space from the previous round, make three double crochets, chain two and three double crochets again. We're trying to follow the shape of your lampshade and we're increasing. I will meet you at the end of this round and you will have 14 groups of three double crochet chain two, three double crochet separated by a chain two. Alright, so you end your fourth round with a chain two slip stitch on top of the first chain two from the previous round and we are going to tackle the fifth round and again you're going to slip stitch your way to the first chain two space from next round you're going to chain two which will count as your first double crochet you're going to make two more double crochets and chain two and three double crochets but now in between your groups of double crochets you are going to chain three So now instead of chain two, chain three. And go to the next chain two space from the previous round and make three double crochets, chain two and three double crochets. And I will meet you at the end of your fifth round. You're going to repeat chain three and then your groups of three double crochet, chain two, three double crochets until the end of your fifth round. So for round six and seven, you're going to repeat round five, which means you are going to have three double crochet, chain two, three double crochets separated by a chain three. And we are here at the end of your seventh round. You're going to end up with a chain three and slip stitch on the top of the first chain two. And again, for this round eight, you're going to slip your way to the middle of the chain two, chain two. This will count as your first double crochet. Make three more double crochets in the chain two space. Chain two and make four double crochets in that same chain two space. So you understood. Now you have groups of four double crochets, chain two, four double crochets all around and separated by a chain three. Make your three chains, go to the next chain two space and make four double crochets, chain two, four double crochets. And that is what you're going to do all around this eighth round. So groups of four double crochet, chain two, four double crochets separated by a chain three. I will meet you at the end of your eighth round. And this is what your work should look like. It goes perfectly onto your lampshade and it is taking the shape you want. All right, so now for your round nine, you will have groups of four double crochets separated by a chain two. And then in between the groups, you will have chain four. 
So four double crochet, chain two, four double crochet separated by a chain four. And now for round 10, we will have groups of five double crochets separated by a chain four. Here you go. So you have one, two, three, four, five, chain two, five, and then four chains. And you go to the next chain two and you make five double crochets. Chain two and five double crochets. And again, a chain four. And I will meet you at the end of your 10th round. Keep taking your work and wrapping it around your lampshade to see that it fits well. Perfect. And now for round 11, by now you know how to end your round and begin it. The chain two always counts as your first double crochet and you will, ha you will have groups of six double crochet, chain two, six double crochet, separated by your chain four. And that is going to be your round 11. And this is what your work will look like at the end of, well, at the beginning of round 11. And for round 12, do exactly the same as round 11. So you will repeat round 11, which is a group of six double crochet, chain two, six double crochet, separated by a chain four. And I will meet you at the end of round 12. All right, so now we are at the end of round 12 and we have reached the pinnacle of our lampshade, the widest part of it. From now on, we are going to decrease. We had increase, now we're going to decrease to follow the shape of our lampshade. We are at round 13. And of course, you begin your round as usual, slipping, slip stitching till the middle chain two. Round 13 will be a round of five double crochet, chain two, five double crochet. That will be your group. And they will all be separated by chain four. And I will meet you at the end of round 13. Wrap your work around your lampshade to see that it fits. It does. Your round 14 will be a group of four double crochet, chain two and four double crochet, separated by chain four all around. I will meet you at the end of your round 14. And from round 14 on, you will have to put your work around your lampshade because it is narrowing down enough that you will not be able to put it on your lampshade after round 14. We are at round 15. And for round 15, we're going to make four double crochet, chain two, four double crochet, and this time separated by a chain three, still decreasing. And that is what you're going to do for round 15. 
two groups of four double crochet, chain two, four double crochet, separated by a chain three, but this time you're working around your lampshade with your lampshade inside your work. Here we go, this is what your work will look like and round 16 will be groups of 3 double crochet, chain 2, 3 double crochet, separated by a chain 3 this time. And I will meet you at the end of round 16. Time for round 17, which will be a round of groups of three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet, separated this time by a chain two. And I will meet you at the end of your round 17. So, so very pretty. We are almost done, guys. We are at round 18. And for this round, you're going to make groups of two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet without any chains in between. So only groups of two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet in each chain two from the previous round. And I will meet you at the end of your round 18. It's the last round of double crochets. And that is it, we are at our last round, it's round 19. And for our last round, you're going to make single crochets on top of each and every one of the double crochets we had made. So you're going to skip from uh, the chain two spaces and just take a single crochet on top of the double crochet from round 18. And you're going to do that all around and I will meet you once this last round is done. Voila, and once you are done, you're going to slip stitch with the first single crochet you had made and you're going to take your scissors and fasten off and you're going to sew in with a tapestry needle the 
um, and yarn from the beginning and the end of your work in the back of your work and just like that you are done you have created this beautiful boho lampshade cover i love everything about it i think it's so cool i think it really gives it some super super cute style you can make it in other colors i have made them in neutral colors because those are my favorite and it matches my interior and of course i collaborated with uh, nya design for the idea it was such a fun collaboration you can find her on instagram and yes so i hope you have enjoyed this tutorial as much as i have enjoyed creating it for you i am looking forward to many many more in the meantime happy crochet love you see you next time bye and my microphone wasn't on typical in the meantime i ate the matcha ice cream <laughs> so now You are a genius. And the Instagram account right here. Itchy nose. Are you ready? Yes.